welcome to Home Gem Renovation Day 1. Today we pulled everything out of this garage. I'll overlay a before video of what this gym was looking like. We scored and found some awesome priced mirrors on OfferUp. Mm -hmm. And so we picked those up actually like couple weeks ago and then we got some like some weights and a bench and all the good things for the gym and so it really inspired us to kind of transform this space because for one earlier in the months it was kind of just a storage unit honestly with like like one pair of weights and a mat and it wasn't really a gym and then once we got that stuff it started feeling more like a gym so we're like okay we need to renovate this gym make it awesome so today we cleared everything out and I actually kind of just hosed down the walls a tiny bit, like not too wet, just enough that we could clean them, cleaned the trim and everything so we could get that all prepped so that we can paint. So right now, as you can see, we have everything taped off and we have this tarp. Real quick, I'll just kind of tell you our vision. We're painting the walls white, the same white we painted our living room and our fireplace. And then the floor is disgusting and red and sticky and gooey with this carpet tape that they put in. There was just gross little carpet pads in here before. So we tore those up. And so we're gonna have to de-goo the floor after we're done painting before we paint the floor. So like I said, white walls and then the red floor is gonna be black. So we have these stall mats that I'll talk about later on in the video um, that are black. So we're like, oh, it'll blend in nicely. And it's a garage, like we'd rather there probably be concrete, but black will look great since it's already painted. So I think that's it. We're gonna get on priming today and we'll see how far we get. We just finished priming everything and already it looks a hundred times better and bigger and brighter. So we're gonna do one coat of paint tonight before we like eat dinner and go to bed and stuff. And then tomorrow we'll do the second coat of paint um, just so it gets like properly dried and everything. But it's looking really, really good now. Don't step in the paint, mama. So day two of painting. I didn't give you guys an update last night because it just got way too dark and you couldn't really tell. So we did one coat last night on the walls and also on the ceiling and it looks like 95% done. Just most of the issues are just kind of around the trim. Just need like one more layer and yeah, it's looking really good. It's a super, super rainy day today. So it kind of worked out perfectly that we're in the garage and gonna be able to paint because we can't really do anything else. So we're gonna just do one more layer of paint and I think we're gonna call it a day. And then the floor will probably end up de tonight as well and then painting it sometime later this week. So let's get painting. Can't really tell, but it's really, really rainy. We are all done with the second coat of paint. And as you can see, we have put the de on. So I don't know if I mentioned this already, but the carpet tiles that they had down, they like stuck down with like carpet glue slash carpet tape. I don't know what it was, but it like melted and was so, so, so gooey and sticky. Like I accidentally sat on it when I was painting and I felt like I waxed my leg when I stood up and it like literally felt like it was bleeding. That's how sticky it was. So we got some, I'll go grab it. I got some floor adhesive mover from Home Depot. And so we rolled that on with a paint roller and we didn't do the whole floor because most of the like sticky, sticky stuff was up front. So we did the thickest layer on that and then just like a little, little layer on the back. So we're gonna wait about an hour for that to sit in. And then I think we're gonna have to scrape it off and then mop it up and then we can hose it off. And then tomorrow night, after I get home from work, I think we're gonna conquer painting the floor, which shouldn't take more than like, honestly, like 20 minutes. So I will come back when we're scraping it off, let you guys know how it worked. That will probably be it for tonight. So here is what it's looking like in here. The goo definitely worked. That's the paint from the floor. We honestly could actually just take off all the paint on this floor, honestly. We don't need to though. We, we'd have to use so much more of this. It just it would be a waste of money. That stuff does not have any sticky stuff on. All they used was furniture moving pads. They didn't use sticky goo over there. Yeah, that's true. They used carpet tape here. Mm -hmm. 
these furniture pads over there. So this is just the main stuff that you gotta remove. Look how much it, it like stained the concrete even. That's how powerful it was, the sticky stuff. So no one's scraping it, but wow, that stuff worked really well. later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one welcome to the final gym reveal guys it has been a year and a half well maybe not quite a year and a half it's definitely been like 14 months since we filmed the last clip in this gym and a lot has happened i'm now pregnant i was not pregnant and not even close to being pregnant in that last video i'm nine months pregnant and we're gonna be moving soon. Anyways, I thought I would finish this video because it's quite the transformation from, you know, what we had when we first moved in to now. And so I thought I would take you guys through the remainder of the stuff that we've done in here and just kind of talk through some of the renovation stuff that we did. Let's get started. So our neighbor actually gave us this rack for free. He knew that we were making a home gym, so he gave it to us. And so we just kind of have some random stuff on it. Nolan's basketballs, some ankle weights, some bands, just some random weights that we actually had when we moved here. Medicine ball yoga ball and some kettlebells. Behind it is some just random stuff. I think this is probably my favorite part of the gym are these pegboards because for one, they're really cute and aesthetic because when you're looking at yourself in the mirror, that's your backdrop, which I think looks nice, but it's also very functional. So I have all my bands, jump rope, I actually got these boxing gloves at Goodwill and some sweat rags. And then over here, we have two mats as well as two mats on the ground right now and foam roller. And some of my thicker bands, smaller bands and our sound bar that we also got from Goodwill. It's a great Bluetooth and it has good sound so you can hear it if no one's playing basketball or something. So that's what these pegboards are. They are awesome, super handy. And as I use things, I'll just kind of put things on there that I'm using at the time. And then over here we have our weight rack, dumbbell rack. I think we got it from Costco, which was awesome. We also got Nolan cheaped out and got these and they don't work super well. You're supposed to like take them on and off and it just takes forever. So now I just leave them on and they're like 42 and a half pounds each. So, so they, that, those go to 30 and then those are just, they look way heavier, but they're just like 42 and a half pounds. Yeah, something. like if you're on Instagram and you wanna just like really impress somebody, those are the ones you would pick up. Definitely. <laughs> and then over here we have our awesome squat rack from Amazon. And I feel like this was such a great find. Nolan did a lot of research because we wanted something that was obviously heavy duty enough that you could do squats and pull ups. He really wanted a pull up bar, but nothing that was gonna like break the bank. And I think this one was around $200, $300. Yeah. So this one is one of the, or maybe the most cheap yeah. of these squat racks on Amazon. We'll link it in the description, but I watched uh, one guy like dropped like, I don't know, a thousand so pounds or something like yeah on just to test it and like it withstood it. And I was like, I but never- it, His bar break or something? Yeah, it like, it, yeah, it, was, it was fine. Now the reason though, it the only thing about it is it's not as tall. 
So here, you film me for a sec. So like, I'm six foot two, but like, if you're gonna do pull-ups, like you can just go like this, so like this. Oh, look at him go. You know, I just gotta show off a little bit. <laughs> um, but honestly, super easy to put together. Yeah, works, it was. Works like a charm. It was a good find. This is awesome too, oh, because yeah. you put the bar in there and then you basically- uh, It goes up and down. Goes up and down and you, no, nah, not, no. You grab the bar, you stick one in here, and then you put some weights over here, yeah. and then you can like go like this and like get your back. That's what I was doing. You were faced the other way. Oh, okay, well, logistics. Yeah, everything from this gym we either got off Facebook, offer up, or like really cheap off Amazon. I feel like we did really good just doing this on a budget and also just getting really good stuff. We got these off Facebook. Great weights. We have two big ones. Two or, big sorry, ones. Four big ones. 45 pound. 45 pound. Two medium and then two small, which are probably like 10 and 20, right? Something like that. By we the way, if people are asking, off. yeah, we got this off of Facebook too. So the squat rack came with these safety bars. We don't have them on right now. If you wanted a safety bar, it also comes with that. This was off Amazon. Yeah. Don't love this one, but it's just a cheap little one. Yeah, for me, I would choose something heavier because yeah. I don't feel like it's super sturdy, but it's fine for what I use it for. Yeah, it works for me too. It's just yeah. not, it's not it's like not the best. best. It's just because it's so light, light. yeah. Um, but like I works. wouldn't jump on it or anything like that. Yeah. Like, but if you just want it for some bench press and dumbbells yeah, and stuff, it's, it's perfectly fine. And then over here we have a mirror. We were planning on hanging this, but it actually worked really well. Nolan likes dragging it out and doing weights in the sun. So we just have left it there. But we also got a good deal on this because it's cracked at the bottom. And we thought, hey, it, it matches. matches our cracked mirrors that we already have in here. <laughs> And then over here we have a little TV. Nolan got this really cheap off Facebook. Like 30 bucks, 35 bucks maybe. Okay. And then these shelves were actually already in this gym. So we just repurposed them. Um, so we have like remotes, the cleaner and some extra markers. And then my yoga ball. Then these were the awesome mirrors. I, we talked about these in the, in the video before these aren't like new they're broken but they're broken in the perfect spots where it's not even disruptive to the whole mirror system like you saw earlier uh, we hung these with like little mirror brackets i'll put them on the screen right here um you guys saw us hanging these up and i think that's the last clip we filmed in here but they weren't super hard to put up they're just huge huge mirrors which is great for a home gym and mirrors are typically so expensive so we got a great deal on these as well. So the last thing I'll mention as far as gym equipment goes is this nice little step up box, jump box. And I actually do, before I was pregnant, did do like jump box stuff and it was very sturdy even though it's like not super heavy. And it's 18 inches and then you can turn it this way. And, oh wait, that's 18 inches. This is 16 inches. That's 22 by the way. Yeah, so you can move it several different ways and have three different heights. Super awesome. And then we have our whiteboard right here that I write my workouts on. So the other things I want to mention that we did in here after we filmed was the flooring. We got these stall mats from... Something tractor? Yeah, tractor and supply. And they're actually stall mats for horses. They are perfect for a home gym because you can drop weights on them. And I feel like it's nice for like working out. I do a lot of HIIT workouts. And so like when you're jumping and stuff, it's better on your joints to just have something that's softer, but actually doesn't like give so much like, cause we debated doing puzzle pieces in here, which we actually did along the edges because the stall mats weren't big enough to fit in here without cutting them. And there was no way we were gonna cut through these things. They are thick. So we did the puzzle pieces around the side and actually cut them ourselves and then did the stall mats on the inside. And it's been great. Um, we taped it, it's held up perfectly. I would definitely recommend, and I think it was pretty cost effective. I think the puzzle pieces maybe would have been cheaper in the end, but it wasn't gonna give us the kind of flooring that we wanted. I'm very happy with the flooring that we got. One thing to add on the flooring though, two things. One, this is way better for dropping weights on. Like you can drop yeah. 
anything on these horse stall mats and um, like your cement is gonna be perfectly fine where the yoga or whatever you call those puzzle piece puzzle mats, piece. like I'd be a little more uh, cautious probably just dropping a ton of weight. But then- Because we lift so much weight, right? No, I know, I'm lifting like thousands of pounds. The last thing though about the horse stall mats is they do smell like rubber. And so- A little bit, I was gonna say that as well. It's not so bad though. It is initially, but you're just like air them out. We, and we did. We yeah. let the rain. But they, they do. They do smell. So like, they do smell. it's better for like you open this up and then you're fine and you're yeah. fine to work out. But it's not like tire rubber. Like we watched some videos on them and people are like, it smells like tires, and I wouldn't really agree. It's not that strong. It doesn't smell like a tire shop or anything, but it definitely does give kind of a scent. So if they're like in your house, maybe I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but for a garage, it's totally fine. Garages stink it anyways. And then the last thing I'll say about the floor is you guys saw how we painted it black. And I just wanna say, I would not recommend using that degooer and then painting on. The paint did not stay in the areas that we did thick degoo because it's literally trying to keep things from adhering to it. And so paint didn't adhere to it super well. So there was definitely spots that the paint like didn't really like stick to the concrete. So if I were to do this thing all over again, I would definitely just use that degooer on the entire floor and just have it be the concrete that it originally was. So that's the one thing I would change. Definitely don't use that and put paint over it. But honestly, that's probably a very unique to our situation type of thing. The floor paint did turn out great though, but it's, you can't even see it. So it was kind of a waste anyways. You don't see any of the paint. So last but not least, we have a very Jimmy rigged lighting situation. Let's close the garage door so you can actually see them. So we didn't wire these in, but we have these remote controls that go to the lights. And so I just stuck them with like the command strips or whatever, the sticky strips so that they'd be here and easy to turn on. And as you can tell, it adds so much nice lighting in here. And Nolan wants to talk about the lighting because this really was his thing that he did. So I'll let him talk about it. So there's two parts to this lighting. The first part, she mentioned the remotes. Those are tied to a box up there that has a switch on it. So that is not a part of the light. That is a wireless box that is super cheap on Amazon. And so we are able to plug those into the wall, mount them, and then we have the remotes down here so we don't have to pull a cord every single time to turn on the lights. Like the extension cord. There's an extension cord that has a wireless yeah. remote and that is turning on and off. Yes. And then you plug the lights into it and they're always on. So when this turns on and off, so does the lights. Yeah, I wanted to mount these lights. Actually, you can see the point of the ceiling. These lights are really bright. Balanced lighting is so much better. So pointing at the ceiling, it spreads it out. So it's not as bright as it could be in here, but it's just like a lot softer lighting and it's really easy on the eyes. And it kind of feels more like you have skylights and daylights in yeah. here rather than harsh lights just pointing down at you. And so and I, then, liked, I liked pointing them at the ceiling to be honest. So that is our finished Home gym remake over. I think it turned out amazing. I will show some before video and some after video. And I'm just so happy with how it turned out. And we've gotten so much good use out of it. And we'll continue to use all the great equipment that we have in here in our next house. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas if you're remodeling your home gym right now. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and tick the bell so you get notified every time I post because I do upload every week. And so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.